When I saw that the Redmi K60 Ultra is only sold for about $350, I realized the one thing, the flagship killer is back. It's not the best phone out there, but who can beat it at this price point? So I ordered this K60 Ultra right away. Let's unbox it and talk about my first impressions of it. The packaging is unchanged, still a black box with oversized lettering. The accessories box didn't surprise us either, car pin, manual, and warranty card. The phone case is still a transparent soft one. The phone was wrapped in a very thin plastic bag. Let's put it aside for a moment and check out accessories underneath. A cable and a charger. The charger is 120 watts, which is the same as the K60 Pro. That's all the accessories. We purchased the white version. You can never go wrong with a classic color combination of a white back panel with a silver frame. Even though the frame is made of plastic and the back panel is made of glass, I can't live with it as long as the price is good enough. The design of the K60 Ultra is less like the K60 family and more like a member of the Xiaomi 13 series. Because the camera module has gotten wider, it's gotten better looking instead. I wouldn't be too critical of a performance focused phone in terms of a design. After all, that's not its strong point. When the screen lights up, you can see why it's called the Ultra. It has a less bump ups around the screen than the Pro and the standard, giving it a nicer look. The resolution isn't quite at a 2K level, but it's also a lot brighter than the rest of the K60 series, and the refresh rate is slightly higher. Considering it's 140 cheaper than the K60 Pro, a screen like this is excellent. Like the K60 Pro, the main camera uses IMX800 sensor. While we can't expect the Redmi's camera to be that good, well at least the sensor is a good one and it should be more than enough for recording your life. Since it's a K-series, there's no doubt that the performance is a proud feature. MediaTek's flagship chip isn't weak at all, but I'm not sure if the Dimensity 9200 Plus can really win over the Snapdragon Agent 2. Judging from the benchmark scores, plus the help of a frame insertion chip, it does have the potential to beat the Agent 2 in gaming. Because of the short time we have got this phone, we haven't done any more gaming tests yet, so stay tuned for our full review of K60 Ultra, and I'll give you the final answer. While the K60 Ultra gained our favor with the super low price, but by the time you see this video, OnePlus has also released their new phone. I'm not sure it's better buy than the K60 Ultra, at least until August 16th, the K60 Ultra is the best flagship killer out there. Of course, we will be doing a review on OnePlus Ace 2 Pro, so remember to subscribe to our channel. I'm Will from China. See you next time.